Hey there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here with your reading today. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good, having a good day or the start of your day whenever you see this. Opening up to your spirit team and um, working with angels as, as I usually do. So this is Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Alchemy deck that we're pulling from first. some messages for Sagittarius please oh beautiful all right the red and white rose oh, I love this card oh, and the Sun too Wow I think of like a surge of energy uh, because something blooming oh wow and it may be because of a moon or the moon the moons the moons um, so some kind of changes going on, of course, it is, um, eclipse season, all this, so we're going to have a lot of changes anyway, but this red and white rose, I look at it as being, um, innocence and purity to a new energy that's rising in you. It's being the energy that's, it's creative energy. It's, a uh, being pointed out as represented by a snake right and the rose there's something eternal about the rose that I'm getting quantum that I'm getting about the rose and this snake it would be the sacred feminine going to meet the sacred masculine energies within ourselves and coming back around and then really having a lot of power to create from that space the moon divine uh, feminine the sun divine masculine it's energy so really it should go like this because these two energies are what is awakening this new experience this could be anything from love blooming or blossoming to just representing the whole new experience of life here of life a whole new experience yeah you're rising above Transcendence, rising above, taking flight. Anything against the nature, against the grain, so to speak, probably is going to go. Or feel so uncomfortable that you won't want to stay in that energy. Anything that tries to put you in a, a box. So you're transcending and rising above whatever box this was. Wow, I have sugar and I have rotation. So there is attraction. I can take this card to mean two things. Well, okay, if there is a cycle, a pattern or behavior or karmic situation where you are just like, you know, this is just going round and round and it's already taught you the lesson, then it's about wrapping that up with the rotation. Um, at creating something new um, but it can also be that you have done this for many lifetimes your soul your spirit has done something to perfection or there might be something here on the earthly realm that you're good at that you're really good at I mean you've done it a lot and so therefore you're like an expert you're I mean the spider here is weaving a web it could be a web of safety protection security you could think of prosperity as the food is trapped in the the web right i mean on a very general term so in a way you could think of it as your abundance and prosperity that you're weaving that you're creating <clears throat> not to mention silk spider is very strong easily to tear down a web but very easy to put one back up and then when you get them all tightly wound and wrapped you have um, silk thread which is very very strong um, and then sugar is attraction maybe you are attracting things into your life or you are this attractive energy this has been a process of death rebirth mortification which is properly down here because it's in the 
it would be that under underworld energy but you've already the process has already taken place okay it kind of matches with like saying like there's maybe a death or ending to being put in a box somehow some way mm. yeah on the bottom of the deck passion desire to burn off anything that is not in new alignment with you and with the experience that is that you're wanting to create but this experience this goes this is deeper than just like i'm just imagining somebody taking the same vacation but the second time around it's a lot different because of the energy or because of the state of mind that we're in or our age or something like that so i'm um, those sceneries might not change that much. You may still enjoy some of the same things. It's going to be different. There's going to be something different. There's something more benevolent, kind, and light to this energy. I'm really being drawn to the sugar card. Hmm. Let's pull this deck out. This is the Siren Song, and it's a combination of the Lenormand and the Kipper deck. So let's see what it's talking about. Tell me about sugar. Prison. That's, oh, it's not sugar. It's about, the prison card is about what you're busting out of. Right? Being stuck in a box or doing something that's against your nature that doesn't allow your soul to feel free or your spirit to feel free is restrictive. It's confining. How does it relate to sugar? How does that relate to sugar? I think it's about against nature. Oh. It's something to do with the people that are involved in a cycle, pay, a pattern or behavior with you. These like karmic situations, friends that aren't really friends that this is a not so good influence keeping you trapped in an old way of doing things separating from the friend group would be necessary in this message to break free from that prison to allow yourself to have like a new beginning a new start somebody here really desires to be with you the ring long road in the reverse and the whip in the reverse I think things could really start changing the moment you start talking to yourself better and also there's a short there's a short trip to getting what you want in contrast to what you've experienced before it's the when you when the end of whatever it is that's been repeating that's been negative for you whether it's your self talk or the way others treat or talk to you once that is like eliminated then it's a short road to getting to where you need to go to rising above transcending and then i have the ring so there's obviously an energy here this could represent a wedding it can be that the two parts of you that the parts that um, know how to be in your feminine energy but also know when to take action you know the those blending really well for you and then creating a lot of things this is a desire with the ring desire and it can mean that you're going to meet a counterpart in a short amount of time with that something about murky thoughts clearing our thoughts or what is causing us not to see the end of a situation but it's so much shorter like the um okay the freedom from a situation is a lot shorter than what you're thinking your perception right here is uh, is a little murky because it's actually a lot shorter like you're closer to your finish line you've done more development than you really know and the key is within you again with the um friendships commitments bonds that uh, probably are going to be broken in some way so here's the key 33 here's the key it was in the reverse there's something about finding the key is it what your heart desires perhaps is the solution what's the key
yeah, it has to do with these people that surround you. Um, there's, there's um, also, okay, because this could be groups of people talking and not talking that great with the birds in the reverse. Or um, it can be that there's a key to your situation with putting in more effort in order to stop this cycle that will bring you, again, something new uh, that you will like. A new experience, the child. A new experience, a new beginning, something like in its infancy stages, or this is a spirit child also wanting to come through. Or actual, your child, it could be your child. Now, sugar, house, and change. So there's some change coming when it comes to where either literally where you live or with what you build your foundation on, the foundation that we call our ourselves, our body, our temple, our house. So you're attracting this. You're attracting in more stability, more prosperity with the fish. You may be attracting a move of some sort too with this change. More effort possibly within yoga or exercise or feeling like you're stretching enough getting your um getting your blood going basically you know like this calcification getting the blood going contemplation deep breath centered to go within that might be where this key is take a break inner child healing meditate time alone balance chakras reflection wellness rest and then master is discipline, working smart, focus, structure, teaching, training, conquer, overcome, control, learning a skill in the flow, authoritarian, commanding presence. So you have a commanding presence and there is definitely mastery over something here. Time to put the sap tap somewhere else because there's a need to increase this material wealth flow or the spring. Adelsa says, look, the sweetness. Since you have this sweetness, there's a need to find the right tree to put in the tap. Truly, there, there might be something here about your independence and um, a need to maybe tell like people, like whatever that group is representing, you know, I'm not really interested in what you all have to offer. <laughs> you may look aloof or something if you're pulling away from, you know, a group that you've always hung around or something like that. But acting like it's not your problem, unbothered, and being very focused on your own independence is really important when that cat comes out. Yeah, it's time. Out with the old and with the new. It's time. It says it's time for action. Things are fast-tracked to unfold smoothly and quickly. Wow. Hmm. Independent research, knowledge, and study with learning, history, and information. There's another ring on the bottom, by the way. <laughs> You have heart and home, happy home, security, love, kindness, family, belonging, bliss, contentment, comfort, establish your heart's desire. What did I say? I said the ring might be representing your heart's desire. And that's what you get. You get it fast track when you want it. You get it fast track. Hot air balloon, balance, uplifting, freedom, going with the flow to rise above. Don't resist, untouchable, kind of like unflappable, like that uh, cat, unaffected, unbothered. <laughs> Getting a new perspective, that's how you're able to, is because you have a higher perspective. Says, define gravity, <clears throat> continuous flow, ascension, elevate, feeling good. Intuitive life coaching oracle is speaking to me to pull something from it, so we will. And I do have private readings, by the way, if you would like a private reading. That um, information is in the description box. They go from $22 to $60, just if you want to know those prices. And I have three options. So that's in the description box below. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Appreciate that support, too. Yeah, choosing, <clears throat> choosing people, places, situations here that are nourishing for you is really important when it comes to what you're eating, to the type of um, media that you're digesting also, um, and the company that you keep, because if you're empathic um, or 
there's so many different types of people out there, but there are some people that really absorb, you know, automatically <laughs> all the time nourishment. So it's really important um, to know how to protect yourself the best way possible. And it's about taking care of yourself. So you're being asked to take time out for self-care, nourishment, career transition, 45. Your soul is yearning for a career aligned with passion and purpose and the journey. You are learning that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside it. Okay, and this one, recognition, 33. There you go. Someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. 33, the key. You're an old soul. You have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. A diamond child born between 2010 2011 it says eight ascension number eight I talked about this on the collective read if you want to check out that it's seed crystals eight through ten chakras activated and the ones uh, right above your crown I also have five ascension number five light ether mental tunes into spirit and 22 master number 22 and 33 are strong in your reading the architect ruling planet Pluto Another five. <laughs> Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you easily adapt and you love the excitement. I'm adaptable. Number five. 88, I am wealthy is being on the cusp of this very prosperous life. Look at this. Whoa. I am wealthy is there. Okay. <laughs> These are big though. 333, three, three, you're being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truth and be a positive light to others. Wow. 333, three, three, I am powerful. You sure are. Like you really, really are. 666, a wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation. Change the direction of our murky thoughts sometimes. So that you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. And it says, I am centered. So I would say big changes, especially within love, har harmony, heart space. What you truly desire. What you're wanting to change in the most um, peaceful way possible. Somebody might be obsessed with you. Obsession. You have energy healer here. Your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed. And you also have heavenly helpers. Your spiritual team is helping guide you through this difficult situation um, with the heavenly helpers. Okay. So, and, okay, I've got to show. And then there's a new door. I'm going to stop after that. Under that is the releasing of fear, by the way. Okay, so new door. Prayers have been answered and a door is being held open for you. That's what I've got. Um, I'm sending you light and love. Bye.